Welcome my fellow wood burners to another episode of Broke Girls Art School. In today's episode, I will be showing a time lapse from beginning to end of a dog portrait that I just recently finished. So if you like the video, please drop a comment, let me know, subscribe if you wanna see more art tutorials. And if you wanna find me on Instagram or Facebook, my tag is at burnblueart. Thanks guys. Okay, so the first thing I like to do when I'm working on dog portraits is go over the faces with more of a mid-tone with your burner. You don't need to put in your black super hard yet. You can kind of save that for the end and then really hammer the blacks in to establish better contrast. But just to get a base layer down, like I said, mostly mid-tones. Uh, you don't need to worry about making anything too dark in the beginning. Wood burning, just like most other mediums of art, is awesome with layers. So, you know, take your time, go back to it after your first time running through, and I guarantee you, you'll see some more areas that you maybe want to add high or low lights to really make the contrast pop. And here I'm just working on the body of the dog. You don't need to take as much time to make that perfect because you want to put most of your emphasis on the face regardless. Um, if you do make mistakes and go a little bit too dark in an area, don't be afraid to grab a finely grit uh, piece of sandpaper and you can go in and lighten those areas up. Another piece of advice I would give is definitely take your time and be super cautious with the nose and the eyes. Uh, it's the most important part. I can't tell you how many times I give somebody a dog portrait and the first thing they mention is, oh my God, the eyes look identical. Like you nailed it. So yes, extra emphasis on the eyes. Um, same with the nose. You don't want it looking wonky. So just take your time with those areas. Here, just adding in a bunch of black. You can kind of see on the left side of the screen the reference photo. Um, yeah, going super dark and have those parts of the shading because the dog is pure black. And here I use my torchin for the blanket. A uh, big time saver and it gives, you can see the rings of the wood, which I like. So it gives a little bit of a different texture. And then right here, I'm going in with my Dremel tool just around the edges of the faces, just to really give it that extra contrast, make it pop. I uh, went in on the eyes and some spots in the ears, just to give, again, little highlights, uh, throw in some extra texture. Alrighty, and the next thing I did was grab some Mod Podge and smear that on nice and even and then let her dry and we're good to go. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode of Broke Girls Art School and hopefully we'll see you around again.